Uh, before we move on to that wonderful last paragraph of this Gosho, uh, I should have mentioned, uh, talking about the previous paragraph which you read, uh, I cannot hold back my tears when I think of the great persecution confronting me now. So uh, I'm sure Nitin Dashonin uh, must also feel, wherever he may be in the great universe, uh, the same feeling of emotion uh, concerning the battle that we're having to fight now. Uh, and his pride in the way the Bodhisattvas of the Earth are standing up and resisting and determining that one way or another this problem has to be solved and that no matter what they'll never give up their activities for Kosen Rufu and their practice uh, to the Gohonzon and uh, their study of the Kosho which will be the basis uh, of our lives and uh, Sensei has said this uh, strongly uh, and we, we are all increasingly understand understanding that our mission at this time can be nothing else but to drive on the movement for Kosen Rufu based on our deep faith in the Gohonzon and the Gosha. And if we do that, I'm convinced that the cause is then made for this whole problem of the priesthood to be sorted out. Some sort of conclusion will be reached and some sort of uh, revol revolutionizing, if you like, of the whole priesthood and their code of conduct for, in a way which would be suitable for the age which we're entering now on the way into the 21st century. So going on to this uh, last wonderful paragraph, um, this is uh, actually a lecture in itself on its own. But uh, he, he is saying here clearly what our task is as bodhisattvas of the earth. And you must remember that Nichiren Daishonin and Saranbo were themselves in exile. They also, as it were, had been excommunicated. And there they were on this wild island uh, under dreadful conditions. Nevertheless, Nichiren Daishonin's spirit was so great. Uh, and this he was teaching to Saranbo, who uh, was also a priest of the Tendai sect. Uh, and who for some reason or another also been exiled to Sato. So maybe he was a revolutionary and wasn't satisfied with the way Buddhism was, was being taught. And Nichiren Daishonin uh, was able to convert him to his own teachings. So he was training in these words, Saranbo, for the future. But what he says here is what we should perhaps say to ourselves every day. Because this is the way we should proceed while all this uproar is going on and this uh, revolution I'm sure uh, within the priesthood is taking place so forge we must forge strong faith believe in the gods and the supreme object of worship in the world and no matter what exert ourselves in the two ways of practice and study uh, nothing is worth doing half-heartedly He's saying, you know, please exert yourselves. And perhaps we should say that specially to us at this particular time, to exert ourselves in our daily practice, in our, to deepen our faith, and to continue, no matter what, the movement for Kosen Rufu. And in this way, of course, uh, as we all understand, we keep in rhythm. There is a rhythm to life, isn't there? The rhythm we call nam myoho it's a law of life or a rhythm of life. And provided we keep to that rhythm through our daily practice, we shall ride through this storm as we've ridden through storms in the past. And this matter will be resolved in the best possible way for the future. So also an outstanding point in, the, in those anonymous letters that priests have written is exhorting us not to be swayed by anything that happens during this time of upheaval and uh, to realize and believe and know that the greatest evil is always followed by the greatest good. They've all emphasized that point. Even this great uh, university professor, uh, he 
he ends his essay, I'll just read it to you because it's so stirring. He said, viewed from a long historical perspective, this problem with the priesthood will serve to leave behind that part which is most pure and polished. Rather, if it does not, the entirety will become defiled and stagnant. It is important that Soka Gakkai members view this situation as a detonator that will blast them towards even greater progress and advancement. While portions of the media are sens sensationalizing the issue, I hope the Soka Gakkai members will have the spirit to, to change this into a tailwind that propels them forward and an excellent opportunity to do away with negative influences from the past. So wonderful words from an old professor, uh, at least an elderly professor, um, and of course a non-member. So uh, uh, we can take heart from these things, uh, and it will help us, of course, all of us, to keep together in strong unity and advance following Sensei's guidance. Uh, this is the way we have to do until this whole matter is solved. And in mentioning Sensei, uh, I would also like to mention an extraordinary fact uh, concerning uh, his place in this whole movement, if I may. Uh, it all centers around the year 1928. And uh, in that year, 1928, Nikken Shonin's father became high priest of Nichiren Shoshu. And in that same year of 1928, Nikken himself was tonsured uh, and became a trainee priest. And in that same year, Mr. Makiguchi and Mr. Toda were converted to Nichiren Shoshu Buddhism. And in that same year, Sensei was born. It's really amazing, isn't it? So in a way, it's like uh, these the most important characters in this whole upheaval uh, appeared in the rhythm of life and in the rhythm of Kosen Rufu at that time. So this uh, makes us understand that this is not by chance and that it has a great purpose, this upheaval, which is our task to live through. Because out of, out of it all will become uh, an even a movement of lay people which is even stronger and who also, because of all that's happening in the priesthood, quite naturally find themselves taking a look at themselves and the way they run their affairs uh, and at the same time uh, 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 the priesthood must in the end revolutionize their way of life uh, in readiness to tackle the new century. So it's an extraordinary turning point in the history of Buddhism as a whole. And as the professor of Meiji University says, and this will have wider implications than just the Soka Gakkai and uh, the Nichiren Shoshu priests. And it'll have a profound effect, certainly on the whole of Japan. And of course, ultimately, in the world, because through fighting our way through this whole situation, we become stronger as Bodhisattvas of the earth and clearer about our true mission in this world. Don't you agree? Absolutely. So thank you, thank you very much.